history of chemistry goes back to the Greek, jumping to Dalton, to Rutherford, to the modern structure. But there are three important points you should know. Number one, an atom has a dense positive charge called the nucleus. Point number two, electrons travel around the nucleus at a larger distance. And point number three, the nucleus is small compared to the size of an atom. The nucleus brings us to the modern atomic structure where you have the electrons, protons, and neutrons. But how do we have it in this structure? So let's see. For instance, you have this element F, and right over here down, it's written 9, and right over here, it's written 19. Then what do these numbers mean? So let's see. The number 9 means that this is the atomic number. The number 19 means that this is the mass number. These numbers can be found in the periodic table. But now how can you get the electrons, the protons, and the neutron? How can I get these three? So the atomic number, this 9, is the proton number. So it means that the protons are 9. Now the number of electrons is the same number as that of the protons. Now what if we want to get the neutron? To get the neutron, you will take the atomic mass number which is here, 19. You will subtract it by the number of protons which is 9. And finally you will get 10 which will be the number of our neutron.